We're turning our attention to something else now, or t uh, to the budget padding controversy. And we're being joined by Representative Tony Wulu, Honorable Tony Wulu, I should say, uh, who is the Deputy Chairman, House Committee on Capital Market and Development. You're welcome to Sunrise Daily. Thank you very much. Well, uh, you are a first-time member of the House of Reps, and you've seen the controversy that's been going on around the budget. Uh, are you surprised? Is this what you expected to find when you came to the House of Representatives? Oh, well, I, I wouldn't say that's what I expected to find. Mm -hmm. And um, the issue is, uh, I haven't seen that going forward, where do we get, uh, how do we move away from where we have found ourselves now? Um, before I start, I would first say a huge apology, then a huge apology to Nigerians uh, on behalf of um, the National Assembly for whatever thing that is going on now. It's, um, you think Nigerians deserve an apology over it? Yes, because we're, it's, not, it's not what we should be talking about when we are facing a technical recession in the country. There are more serious issues to look into. Um, the, 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 the common man in the streets hardly knows what is going on. What is concerned is how to put uh, food on his table. The people in my constituency whom I represent uh, all they expect is um, good governance, good representation, see uh, the dividends of democracy trickle down to where they are and uh, also be able to afford a meal, which is increasingly becoming difficult in Nigeria, as we speak. Well, but, you know, you're looking at the controversy and you say this is not definitely what you expected to find. Are you disappointed in the House of Representatives? It, it will be quick to say I am disappointed. Uh, uh, at, the, at what is going on at the moment, to be very frank and candid with you. I, it's, I see a whole lot more politics going on, yes, uh, like um, the leader of the House rightly mentioned, there is, a, there is a whole need for us to reform our budget system. It's something that uh, I want to believe we inherited in this Eighth Assembly. Uh, it could have been working for for them over the past years and uh, but currently going by the body language of mr president and the change mantra and everything of course there is a there's a need for us to reform that but would i say i'm disappointed uh, it will be too quick because one i'm not here to i'm not here to apportion blame to any group whatsoever uh, or, or the players involved in this uh, my interest my interest primarily is how would I be able, within the promises I made to my constituents, deliver those promises I made to them. Mm. Where exactly do you stay in, in this matter? It would seem that there are camps. Which camp do you belong to? Oh, well, I, I, I don't know those that created the camps anyway. Now, at the moment, I still see... Well, there are camps, aren't they? I, I don't think so. I don't know about any camp anyway. I know there are, you have those that uh, say they are integrity group, okay? Are you in well, that camp? Are you a member? Is it, cramp? is it camp? I'm asking if you are a member. First of I all, am, you said you I don't am. know that there are camps. I don't know that. I don't and know, then, I then you talk camps. about integ integrity, integrity group. group. That's what you mean. Yes. By, uh, are you a member of no, integrity I'm group? I'm not. You're I'm not a member? member. I'm a member of the National Assembly. Do you, do you see justice in their cause? Do you think that the House should accede to some of their requests? Yes, I do. You do. So you do, you do share the sentiment well, of the and, integrity and, and, the, and the speaker himself, yeah. at some point, has also said yes. I mean, before we went on recess, he said there is a need. I, I, think, I think he went ahead to set up a committee or something like that to look at those things, you know, and come up with a workable solution on that. Um, quite frankly, it's, I, I've had different opinions and those that have come to channels to talk in time past and since I both the lawyers it's we have a national assembly that we must all put hands together to ensure that it stays it's it's part of what democracy is all about if we if we run it down it's not helping any cause it's not helping any of our causes in the national assembly you have you have retired generals you have retired operatives recently i learned that the dss came invaded and uh, shut down the appropriation. I mean, in the next coming elections, 
the same DSS DG might run for the elections, that's if his time is over in the civil service, and we must at all points in time be seen to uphold the tenets of democracy. What is going on between the House leadership and Jibra Abdelmenu is, um, is something I believe, I believe could be resolved internally without necessarily externalizing it. It's, it's bringing me to think that uh, to a situation where you have couples that are having issues and they want to go to a counselor. But and some, on getting to but the Nigerian counselor, people, some Niger a lot of Nigerians believe this is not a matter between couples. This is not just between, uh, you know, an in-house matter. It shouldn't be an in-house matter, even if the house are going to resolve it in Have that manner. Be because they're talking about so much money involved. They're talking about the budget that would affect the Nigerian people. And they're talking about people's interest, you know, coming into a national budget. Do you think that this is really something? that the house should be you know shrouding in secrecy no now now you've gotten the point I, I said earlier that the most important thing is how would my constituency benefit out of it am i am, am i going to tell you that everyone is happy with both jubrin and uh, the leadership in the house no but we all believe that for the integrity of the institution there are alternative dispute resolution mechanisms that could have been employed other than what is going on now other than what is going on that's all i'm saying we've had a situation where a former president said they are criminals you cannot call all of us criminals you cannot i mean this is my first year i have not done anything with the government before i got in as a matter of fact i'm ready to walk from here to efcc i have not done anything for the government and I have people I represent in Lagos State, and these people, I made them promises during the campaign. I want to believe that if we're able to get those budget reforms right, it would serve the Nigerian public more, other than this whole drama that is going on. Because, I mean, if, if I am sitting here and whatever comes to me is something very little, and then what goes to one of the actors or one of these people that have been mentioned is quite huge. And then I get in between their fight. It doesn't make any sense to me. Mm. Let, let's bring in Lagos now. I think that uh, my colleagues will have a question for you. Uh, the, Mr. Nwoye, would you say that the institution of the National Assembly has upheld its integrity as it should in the face of the fact that it's meant to serve the Nigerian people? Yeah, uh, I would say yes, of course, there, there, there could be slight institutional flaws here and there, and we know that it's not only in the, in the National Assembly, we also find that in all other arms of the government, and I believe it should be a work in progress. It's something we we'll all have to put together to make right. When you say a work in progress, who, whose work should that be? The Nigerian citizen or the members of the National Assembly? It's a collective effort, both the Nigerian citizen and the National Assembly. At some point, you must have to hold your lawmakers to, uh, into account. You know, uh, it's a different thing if these amounts that are being bandied here and there are being given to people. Of course, I cannot sit here and tell you that in the past there are no, there are no few lawmakers or some lawmakers that hasn't been able to live up to that standard. You know, but then that does not also mean that all, all other ones are not trying. So many of the lawmakers I also know are very passionate about their constituents and their constituencies where they come from, and they really want to impact positively. There are a few of us, or mo mo some of us, that want to, uh, I mean, uh, away from the green chambers, we also, we also want to live above. So, uh, you, bar so and, you agree uh, then that. Leave a, a legacy. Even you know, the notion so outside the is National is Assembly is that. You lawmakers want to use a constituency to serve your people instead of sitting down there to make laws that, will, that the people can go about their businesses in an environment that is conducive. You want to use a constituency project to, in quote, settle your people. Is that true? Uh, 
Well, uh, 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 that's, that is not true. I, speaking for myself, it is not true because um, I know in this eight assembly, uh, mo most of my colleagues, they've all worked hard enough to, to move this country forward in many ways. We have a whole lot of bills. I also have my own bill, Not Too Young to Run, which should encourage the youths to participate more in mainstream politics. Away from that, uh, speaking of the constituency project, there is this notion because ever since this whole thing came out, a whole lot of the constituencies, without good information going out from the media, they would want to believe that this money, uh, we, all these all this, uh, amounts get into the pockets of the lawmakers. No. This, this, uh, uh, you, you go to your constituency, you identify areas of need, and you try to pu put it in during the budget, um, uh, during the cooking of the budget. And whoever gets the job, whoever gets the contract is not your business. Yours is to ensure, that's what I believe, yours is to ensure that that project is, is, um, is fully uh, completed.